my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive. It feels so good to have you guys here. As you guys know, last week I took some time off. I pull charts all the time and I could just tell last week and the weekend was gonna be a bit of a doozy and this week too. When I see weeks like that, I typically like to scale back and allow the universe to just bulldoze and do what it's gonna do. And you'll know, I talked about that in my ebook guide and I also talked about that with you guys here on the channel. So thankfully, most of what happened was not in my intimate personal life, but it was with my friends, my family, or their friends, or people around them that would impact them in a way that would just completely derail them or reroute them in really interesting and powerful ways, right? So I wanted to come here and talk to you guys. How was last week and how was the weekend for you? Maybe in your own life you experienced major shifts, major meltdowns, major breakthroughs and breakdowns, especially when it comes to health, especially when it comes to mental health, especially when it comes to, um, I, well, sickness is one thing that was, I just kept seeing show up again and again, um, or people who are trying to do the right thing for their diet, for their health, for the well being, for their life, but it's almost as if tick, 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 you know, time is too late. And the reason why this is you guys, um, and I want to be very careful with what I say because if you have just experienced something absolutely bananas, something absolutely crazy in your life, this week, this week that just passed or into this weekend, it can be a little bit triggering. I'm not going to lie. But what's happening is with these planets, Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter retrograde, Neptune retrograde, Chiron retrograde, it's really having us forced with our backs against the wall with things, issues that we were guided to time and time and time and time again from the universe, from the planets. Listen, you have to take care of this. If you do not take care of this or if you do not make this your new routine, your new regimen, it will over time wear the body down, wear the relationship down, wear the house down, whatever the case is. So I always tell you guys, listen, when these planets start to shift, when they start to move, they will showcase to us the things that we need to pay the most attention with. Everything will always have its time and its place, absolutely. Everything will have its time and its order, but we have to look at our astrology charts, we have to look at our transits in order to see, okay, what does spirit, where is spirit guiding me right now? And we have to humble ourselves and have respect, have respect for the plan, have respect for the process because the universe, spirit, the planets, energy is going to move regardless and it knows way better than our emotional and logical brains. Our intuitive brain, our intuitive self will tap right in and know the truth. And that's why I always tell you guys, you know, take that time out for yourself. Take that time out to be still, to listen, because spirit is constantly speaking to you to let you know, listen, here's a heads up. You don't need to be afraid about this right now or at all, but we do want you to take this seriously, especially if you want to make it for the long haul. Okay? So that's something that I wanted to totally talk to you guys about clearly. And as I'm looking at the clock right now, it's 5.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, August 15th. So, you know, this is a lot, a lot of change, a lot of adjustment, a lot of friction, a lot of challenges and blessings and, and, you know, beautiful blessings to those who have had quite a doozy of a week and a weekend. Okay. And if you need to feel free to revisit my prior videos. Um, especially if you're watching in real time, which means when I'm film, filming now for the week ahead. However, these messages, if you're watching this from the future um, and you're finding this message now, it typically is something that you need to hear. And I, I like to channel, I will always channel the messages as best as I can. So one, one thing that's really standing out to me, my loves, I have to mention this first, 
uh, Uranus is going to go retrograde on the 19th of August. Please keep your eyes open for the stock market. Please keep your eyes on your finances. Spirit was speaking to me so strongly. And as I'm saying this, I'm hearing the word stability. I'm hearing, but as, as, as Spirit is saying the word stability, it's a verb. They are saying the word stability as in stabilize, stabilize. Um, as I'm saying the word stabilize, it is more than just your finances. Um, okay, I just heard the word foretell. So this is what spirit, okay, the word decoding is always something that's been coming through. I've been channeling, channeling a lot of message, messages for the Sacred Circle Tarot School. I'll link that down below. But their word keeps coming up decoding decoding and because of that guys i'm gonna have to pause really quickly you guys know that spirit speaks to me with a word i know what it means but it changes like it the, the definition has a very distinct message that i have to share with you guys okay decode to convert into intelligible language a translation of a coded message to decipher, to decrypt, to unravel, to untangle, to work out, to sort out. So I'm really getting this really strong message and I'm hearing it's the three weeks prior. It's the three weeks that have already occurred from the time that you're watching this right now. And I'm also hearing, and they say, be patient with me. I'm hearing them say, be patient with me. Um, as they're saying, be patient, it's more like, a, a, uh, something very similar to being gentle with the it's so interesting so um the universe t typically doesn't care how we feel towards it you know what i mean because we can as human beings sometimes we can lash out but something about lashing out giving your energy out lashing it out um the universe is saying control that um be very clear about controlling that the guides are saying be very very ca cautious and aware of controlling that why because it it, it impacts not just you it, i'm hearing it impacts humanity it, it impacts the greater good i'm hearing people say i'm hearing the guides say it's more than one saying people are watching you um i'm hearing you know it's not about putting pressure there's a message of it's not about we're trying to put pressure on you we want you to be aware of the impact that you are leaving as you move. Some people are, I, someone needs to hear that they're not totally aware of how their foul attitude, that's some, I mean, that's, that's not me saying it, but it's, it's the guides, they're saying the foul attitude, how it can really bring down the energy of the people around you and that it has a big trickle effect and also humanity right now wants to be uplifted there's a lot of energy right now that needs to be uplifted as i'm saying that i'm looking i have the death card here that was pulled out um these messages that i'm channeling right now are not exclusively from the tarot they're definitely from the guides but i'm not even focusing on um what they're doing for these animals so to speak so much um as much as i am focused on the light that feels very symbolic there's this light that's coming through that says even in the darkest of circumstances even in the darkest of you know um the events that are happening around you you know you giving not giving this foulness to it, not contributing the foulness, it creates such a beacon of light. And they're, they're saying that each one of us is responsible for the light that is that we bring. I love that. Um, yeah, so Spirit, that's a really clear message that Spirit is saying right now. Um, interestingly enough, I'm getting called to look at the King of Wands at the, the root of this tarot reading. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but he has a a wand, a staff that is lit at the top, and it gives off a lot of a lot of life, um, light, light, and life. And if you're not aware, this card is actually ruled by fire energy, so it's about life, vitality, ener energizing, um, being ambitious, being motivated, being a leader, being enterprising, and putting yourself out there as far as you know adventures and what your where your purpose is calling you right now. So. There's a double message here 
um, Spirit is saying actually there's three messages. I don't know what the third one is yet. I will say the first two that's coming through. The first one is be a light. Be a light for others right now. Superficial, just it's it's good to be positive. It's good to be uplifting. It's good to not speak every critical thought that is in your head and on your heart. Some of you guys are very harsh and quick to judge or you're not very fast to forgive or you make these assumptions about people and you make these assumptions about what they're doing, like what others are doing and what it may mean. And the fact is, is that that is not it. That is not the case. The second message that's coming through is a message about purpose. And as I say the word purpose, I hear the word destiny. And then I'm being brought uh, by the guides back to the word decode. There are certain aspects of your destiny. I just heard prophecies. You are going to start re-seeing the vision and the vision has changed. Okay. <laughs> the vision has changed. It's not that you are being rerouted off your path. It's that you at this point in your journey have truly evolved. That makes a lot of sense too, actually, with the death card here. You have evolved so much. So what was required of you and what was your purpose back then, back in the day, or when you were exiting out of this Wheel of Fortune cycle, the Wheel of Fortune card is coming up in my third eye right now, but I don't see it here. Don't be surprised if it pops up. I'm not going to be surprised. But as you're ex exiting out of this cycle and have already entered into this next cycle within your life and in your journey, Spirit is saying that new aspects of this purposed, purpose-filled path is going to be unveiled to you. Be open. I'm also hearing have faith. And I'm also hearing um, open the third eye for a new prophecy, aka a new vision. I think that's why the word decode is coming through. So it's three weeks of that which we've already lived through. So this is already something that has already started processing and showing itself and I'm also seeing three to four weeks moving forward into the future from the time that is that you're watching this video. Now I want to talk to you guys about stability and this warning about stabilizing. Number one, we can't expect stability at this moment in time. Simply we just cannot. Um, Uranus is the planet of disruption and erratic change. It is moving through Taurus, Earth signs, so the Earth as we know it, finances, businesses, all of that, is being completely disrupted, derailed, um, broken down, radicalized in a lot of different ways. I'm definitely saying and seeing you guys starting on the 19th and the days around the 19th of August and for the remainder of the year, please, please keep your eye on the stock market, your finances, also massive crazy changes. Truly, it's going to feel crazy when it comes to the environment, when it comes to the earth. These are things that I'm seeing like big eruptions, big earthquakes. Actually, in the time of me talking about this, I think it was last night, yesterday, there was a huge earthquake in Haiti and they are still trying their best to repair from the damage that was done from the last major earthquake and then to get hit by another one. This is the world that we are living in right now because it's a lot of eruption right now. It's a lot of change, a lot of you know friction and challenges that are happening not only in the planets, not only in our, in our experiences, but also the world is feeling this. So, I mean, starting now into for the rest of this year and definitely like a tsunami into 2022 mark my words just keep a big eye out for huge environmental and earth changes and earth shifts spirit is saying it's like a warning and when i say the word warning it doesn't come with a message of fear but respect respect when spirit tells you clearly this is something that is going to under uh, be underway this is something that's going to occur if you are not prepared for it after we've told you y you have only yourself to blame and sometimes that is a tough message to receive believe me it's a tough message for me to deliver sometimes i've always humbled myself as i go to my altar and before i go to the great spirit the divine in prayer because it's not about my wishes it's about Let's talk. What's going on? What do I need to hear? What do I need to know? And also I give gratitude for everything that I receive. It's interesting because Nine of Pentacles is here, King of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. 
Five of Wands is actually the card of competition. Are you ready if there is this tidal wave? Emphasis on the word tidal wave. And are you ready if there's this tidal wave or incredible drought when it comes to your finances? If things were to just shut down, just be paralyzed or hit in some way, I'm hearing infrastructure, infrastructure. So be very careful about the internet, be very careful about social media, be very careful about those platforms that we are, we have rooted ourselves in, especially as Saturn is moving through the sign of Aquarius, currently retrograde, especially as Jupiter is retrograde, moving backwards through the sign of Aquarius. And it's even more so with Neptune retrograde, on uh, the sign of Pisces, it is so wonky right now. You guys have heard me say time and time again, eyes on Chiron. Chiron is currently retrograde, the wounded healer, and the sign of Aries. This is where you have to, if you haven't already, if you are called your entrepreneurial energy, your ability to be self-sufficient, your ability to save for a rainy day, your ability to break away from your job, from your marriage, um, things that have are putting food in your mouth but don't have purpose connected to them that are not meant to last. I don't know, everyone is different. Everyone is so different. Spirit is saying that you tick, 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 boom. You know, you look, the magician card just came out. It is time for you to create. It is time for you to start those businesses, those brands, take them seriously. For some of you guys, I don't know why it's not focusing. For some of you guys, you've already done that. Um, I'm just seeing if that's truly the case, if you're already financial stable, stabilized, if you already have rooted, you know, in success, especially with the nine of pentacles, the sun card just jumped out. This is a time for you to, I just, I just don't see pushing right now. I don't see this is a good time to, to push. It's a time to stabilize and to secure. Something of the devil card just came, came out. This is about, I don't know why it's not focusing, it's so weird. This is about being very mindful about contraction, con, um, contracts, things that you've already agreed to do, things that are already worthwhile and valuable to you. Don't be tempted to take on more if what is working for you is working. Look into ways to innovate especially if you're feeling the five of wands energy and you'll know, I'll tell you about that in a second. If you are feeling like there's more work to be done and you're already financially successful and sound and stable and happy in your richness and your wealth, and this could be anything. It could be your relationships, it could be your career, it could be your projects or your children, whatever. Then you want to, and you feel empowered, you feel sparked to, make moves i don't this is not the time to start a new venture please this is not a time to start a new venture this is more about stabilizing even more securing and making sound what has already been established what has already been created for those of you guys that do not have that yet i am seeing you guys are manifesting and you are truly exiting out of freeing yourself from working from the man emptying getting yourself out of empty marriages is what spirit is calling it empty marriages empty connections empty partnerships friendships communities those types of things to stabilize yourself and to root yourself in you know something that feels more solid for you aries ener aries energy my loves you have to be bold you have to be you have to be self-assured sometimes you taking that small step sometimes you creating that plan is even just getting it out on paper especially as mercury mars and the sun are going to be moving through the sign of virgo mars and mercury actually meet exact conjunct on the 18th of august this is when the plan and action come together in a way that is practical realistic make the plan work it out i'm also seeing self-improvement huge emphasis on health you guys i cannot i don't want to be cryptic i don't want to be creepy i don't want to scare anybody but i i i've been censoring myself for so long on youtube channel i don't want to trigger anyone trigger alert if you if health issues concern you this is you cannot take shortcuts on your health anymore you you simply cannot that this message is coming through so strongly from spirit spirit says you have to take care of your health you have to 
you have to and clearly you know we're in the middle of the you know the current uh pandemic pandemics and how it's evolving it's more than just that it is yes of course that impacts that i was talking to you guys about viruses anyways and with the north node and the sign of gemini and gemini connecting to part like the pairs and the lungs and stuff like that north node is what we need where we're going what we need to focus on what we need to pay attention to immunity is coming through really strong global global connections making sure that you are understanding that what is going on over there is going to come over here what's going on over here is going to go over there being very mindful and aware we have to take care of our bodies our circulation our activity do not be stagnant do not be stagnant eat whole foods clean foods especially as the sun enters into the sign of virgo on the 22nd of august um, this day also is the full moon in Aquarius. This is when, I, I mean, I have to do a whole video on this. I truly do. I, I just see so much uh, abrupt changes that are getting triggered by this. Once again, I'm 6,000% here for it, but it can be really, really tough. Also, Saturn and Jupiter are in the sign of Aquarius, directly opposing the sun um directly opposing mercury and mars energy i mean and then uh yeah and then the north node sitting in um gemini gonna be squaring off this just by eyeballing the chart right now we have to talk about it there's massive abrupt changes that are going to be happening so take care of your health take care of your peace some of you guys are just so caught on securing the bag what does that even mean what does that even mean? You can't you can't breathe, you know, you money. You can't like you, there's some things money can't buy. And don't get me wrong, you know, money does have a, a, a definitely a way and provides the resources for you to create health for yourself and have additional help. Absolutely, but spend the money if you can. Spend the money in a way that is giving you health. Uh, just please, <laughs> please. And prevention is the best medicine, as they say. I hate, I don't want to scare anybody. I'm just letting you know. Also, on the 19th, just a second. Also, my loves, on the 19th, I want you guys to be 6,000% aware of the sun representing our ego, our identities, and where the, you know, the energy of the planets are very, like, funneling their, their focus. In the sign of Virgo, well not yet, it's in the sign of Leo, but directly opposing Jupiter, Jupiter retrograde, this is definitely, with the sun and Leo, this is a, a transit of about excess. It's about drinking too much, eating too much, too much ego, too much bravado. It is so 1000% off-putting. You don't wanna come in as an egocentric asshole. I'm sorry, it's, it's going to do more harm than good. You don't want to come in with that bravado, that unhealthy, toxic masculinity, whether you're someone who identifies as female or male, doesn't matter. This is energy that we're working with, my loves. So we don't want to be loud, too loud. We don't want to be too obnoxious. We don't want to be abrasive or ignorant or say that we know or boast that we know certain things or boast that we can do certain things. It will come back and and bite you in the foot. The 20th, the 22nd, I want you guys to put a, a pin in this for sure. This is when um, Mercury and Mars are just connecting with Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Um, this is this is giving me curiosity. This is giving me curiosity um, vibes. This is very curious, exploring energy. I just heard cross the threshold. Wow! And then I pull the strength card. Some of you guys, what spirit, what's going on with that? Wow, okay. Um, adapt, adaptable. Oh, okay, they're, they're literally the guys are like, tell them to be adaptable to the change. Okay, um, it's it's more in the mind. Um, clearly, when I, when I hear the word adaptable to the change, it's, the, it's thinking, it's thinking. <laughs> It's more about how you are thinking, how you are processing, how you are decoding and deciphering. And back on that word decode, some of you guys are, need to know the predominant spirit is saying, don't try to, um, okay, so the guides are saying how information 
has shown up to you before, it's like you're, that was another language. It was like they were speaking to you in a totally different language that you became fluent in or fluent enough in. Now they're saying we are, this is just new territory right now. Like I just heard we were ripped, like there's a rip, there was a rip. So there's a, a rip that happened, something that was just completely separated. Of course it could be patched up, but why would we want to right now? Give that to the, give that to the universe, give that to the planets. Um, Palladians, I'm also hearing a connection to the, the Palladians right now to not sort it through, but do with it what they will. Um, so with that, with this rip, right, we're not trying, you and I are not trying to take steps back into what we were ripped from, what we were separated from. It's not in our best interest to, to, to go back. It is in our best interest in order to, before we visualize, before we intend to manifest, we want to connect and ask from a humble place, from a respectful place, spirit, guides, what are you unveiling? That's a big word that's coming through that I'm hearing. What are you unveiling and revealing to us now? I'm hearing to the humans. What are we unveiling to the humans now? So it's our 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 human minds, our monkey minds, where we're like things that are exciting to us and things that are new potential. It's a time to be um purpose led purposefully led into this new purpose into this new destiny for you so some of you guys i'm i'm also i'm hearing students some of you guys are in college or high school you are just like the word what's coming through it's it's harder for you guys i'm getting a really strong message of it's just a different time a different generation things are just harder for you guys um with that they're saying uh, try not to take anything personally. This is a very specific message for like younger adults. Um, try not to take things personally. Um, I just heard like, uh, this is very specific. What they say is not what they mean. They don't know, I'm hearing, they don't know what they're saying. They don't know how how they are saying things, how how it has an impact. They don't know what they're saying. They don't know what they're doing. It's very, this is definitely for my highly sensitive beings, young adult, young adult college. And, and, and also you guys are, um, you want to be open right now to taking, it's like you're, you're, there's a new wave of like careers, but they're just not like normal nine to five careers for this new gener for this generation that I'm talking to right now. You guys are being led into um, prop prophecy filled, prophecy like destiny, prop prophecy purpose. You guys, it's a very unique path that you guys are on. And for that reason, it is very uncomfortable is the word that is coming through, but it's also very unique. It's you, you, and it's not fair. I'm hearing this energy uh, that's not, I'm also having a conversation with the guys right now. I'm like, damn, that's like, that's really not fair. And they're just like, spirit says, I, it's not fair, but they can do it. Like you're, you guys are like the chosen ones. Like you guys are the ones that are gonna be the ones to do it. You're gonna be the ones to carry the torch is what I just heard. So having said that, try not to take anything personally because this is a very sensitive group that can get easily discouraged and I'm hearing can give up. Don't give up. Really don't give up. Um, you're also, your family and friends, they're not gonna understand where you are being spiritually read, led right now. And that's okay. Um, it's some things are good for you to keep to yourself because this is more sacred. This is a sacred path. And if you look at those who have come before you, they are so accustomed to the nine to the nine to five and to clocking in, clocking out and survival mode. And spirit is really saying, you know, mm -mm. some of you, this message is not for my college and my high schoolers. I mean, it will for a lot, but for some of you guys, this branches out 
into a message for those who are, are working. I'm also getting a big emphasis on the medical field, healthcare. Some of you guys were in healthcare and you are just totally getting ripped out of that. Spirit's like, you served, you helped, get out. Um, there's a reason why you were called into the medical, especially when it comes to nurses and physical therapy. Um, there's a reason why you were called into helping those those people or just people in general because that definitely takes a special kind but now it's time that that energy you know that cycle you say goodbye to that and then you start to move into this next and this is why you were originally called to it because it helps you along your path of actually helping people um there's a message right here I wrote down this week and moving forward into the remainder of the remainder of this year, my loves, or whatever it is that you're watching. This is like six to eight months, nine months from now. The past is going to feel very confronting. It's going to feel very in your face. Yeah, two of wands. There's going to be some things, issues of the past, things that you're going to watch kind of show up and emerge that you're just like, you. you're almost going to ask be asking spirit if you're spiritual why are you wanting why are you calling me to relive this it has something to do with past lot past lives and be given clarity sorry guys there was a knock on the door it has something to do with past lives and being given clarity seven of cups reverse is things not being clear things not being um you know let's see yeah definitely with queen of swords here and the three of wands here queen of swords she wants to have clarity she wants to have truth and she wants to build with that she wants to um she wants to have i don't know what the word is um direction so sorry about that my loves there is someone on my door but with the queen of swords and the three of wands this is about reckoning is the word that's coming through and i'm feeling called to look at the definition of that word reckoning definition wow the action or process of calculating or estimating something a person's view opinion or judgment a bill account or its settlement that is very queen of swords energy actually um so yeah page of cups page of cups as it's showing up i get this really strong message of don't believe everything that you see or everything how it appears to you the first time because it's just a mo morbius like it's it's a mobius like it's just moving it's shifting it's a lot of shifting and you don't you observe it you don't judge it if that makes any sense and this has so much to do with your future it has so much to do with your direction it has so much to do with your purpose you don't judge it, you're observing right now. Especially as the, for the remainder of the year, you're watching it kind of shape shift and find its, own, find its own way. And this is going to be more solidified. Look, this is big time on healing. We have the Emperor card here, Temperance reverse, Three of Swords reverse, and also the World card. There are aspects of your I'm giving, I'm getting like past life. It's like cycles. There's like cycles that repeat themselves, big time cycles that repeat themselves that you've seen before. You've seen it before. You may not necessarily understand it, but you've seen it before. You've seen this pattern before. You've seen this way of life. This time, instead of reacting, observe it. Instead of, instead of expecting what I'm hearing is this, instead of expecting your, you to know the right thing or do the right thing or to move past this, whatever this lesson is, just observe it and don't feel like anything else is needed from the situation. That's actually going to be some um, big portal of your growth. Some of you guys, I don't see the four of swords here are rest i because it's it's actually very active it's a very uh, um active active observant phase in your life that will take you further than 
So even though you may not be making phys physical moves, even though you may not be actually, you know, calling a shot, you know what I mean? Or declaring something or whatever, whatever the case is, you are this active phase mentally where you're processing it, you're observing it and writing it down and not expecting you to have a right answer. Be more open to being curious and learning and listening. That's where your growth is gonna come from. And also, even when you think you are observing something, continue to ask questions because it's going to show up in different ways. Yeah, look, reckoning, the action or processes, process of calculating or estimating something. So an estimation is not an exact, it's kind of roundabout. So as it kind of shifts, you can watch it, you can observe it, but you don't say this is exactly what it is because what it is, is, our, is it's evolving and shifting. So that's a really crazy wild week that we have here. The past is going to come up, it's going to confront confront you again and it's not, you, you guys are not meant to, mm, the justice card, you guys are not meant to judge it. I was gonna say that too, Judge it, judging and justice. You're not meant to judge it. You're meant to observe. And from that space of observation, months from now, you will manifest a different outcome. That's not to say that you guys aren't gonna be manifesting. We have the Queen of Cups here and the Page of Wands. Queen of Cups and Page of Wands. It's not that you guys aren't manifesting, it's just that spirit is really calling you to have stability, to be stabilized, especially as the world as we know it, the energy around us is evolving and shifting. We want to be, feel emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally grounded, centered, calm, peaceful because that is everything. And that's the message, that's what spirit has for us. I invite every single one of you guys, if you, you love this video, to hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and share this message with your friends, your family, if you, if you like and you feel called to. Also, um, please feel free to subscribe to this message because there's plenty more readings and intuitive messages where that came from. And for those of you guys that are wondering, I'm working with the Deep Waters candle, fixed candle from my apothecary, from my shop. This candle has done me so many wonders, my loves. Truly so many wonders. I normally gravitate towards white candles or black candles when it comes to manifesting. Um, I mean, depending on my intention, but Deep Waters is about true, profound, depth when it comes to um, third eye prophecy, when it comes to healing, when it comes to blessings, abundance, emotional fulfillment, emotional joy, emotional depth, um, spiritual depth, connection, justice, right? That, that word, justice, I have to do a whole video on it because for two and a half years, Spirit was talking to me clearly about the word justice and I had a major epiphany. And this can't, it wasn't, a, it was around the time when I started lighting this candle. It was my second, second one when I had an epiphany. After two and a half years, I let the deep waters and all of it became clear to me. So if you guys love magic, you love intention, or you want someone to work magic for you, this is it, fam. All right, so all of the candles and any magical workings that you might need moving forward can be found in the Bahati Life Apothecary. That's my apothecary, that's my shop. The links for that will be uh, in the comments down below and also in the description box. Also be very mindful of those targeting our community. Here, I'm not offering any readings and I only have one Instagram and that is at Bahati Life, B-E-H-A-T-I-L-I-F-E. And only one email, info at bahadilife.com. Until then, I send you guys all of my love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.